Hey everyone, I'm Jay Rodriguez here with Real People, Real Voices. And today we're discussing LGBTQ survival in a pandemic. Now, of course, the queer community is no stranger to this kind of crisis, having dealt with the HIV AIDS epidemic for the past 40 years. Joining us for this conversation, we have some of the trailblazers who were on the front lines for that fight and who are still helping serve their community to this day. Please meet Morris Singletary, founder of the HIV Prevention and Education Initiative, Positive to Positive. Also, we have Phil Wilson, founder of the Black AIDS Institute and member of former President Obama's Advisory Council on HIV AIDS. Phil, let's start with you. Tell us about the Black AIDS Institute and how it came about. The mission of the Institute is to end the HIV AIDS pandemic in Black communities by engaging and mobilizing traditional Black institutions, leaders, individuals, inclusive of faith leaders, and efforts to confront HIV and AIDS from a uniquely and unapologetically Black point of view. The motto is our people, our problem, our solutions. Um, the, the slogan is nobody can save us from us but us. And so the work of BAI is really to help Black communities to take ownership of the pandemic, to develop strategies and solutions that we know that come from our communities, kind of for us, by us, you know, et cetera. That's fantastic. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey into this? For me, HIV and AIDS was personal. I came out in 1980. I felt met, met my first partner and we fell in love and began what we thought was going to be a journey of a lifetime. <laughs> little did we know. By the next summer, there was this rumbling about this new disease impacting HIV and AIDS. We both discovered that we had swollen lymph nodes. We heard that swollen lymph nodes had something to do with it, but we didn't know exactly what. The following spring, we moved to Los Angeles. And by that time, Larry Kramer was doing his thing in New York and the community was beginning to be alerted around the danger. And we began to volunteer, you know, first on the, you know, the, the, the call line, you know, the hotline that began back then, and then eventually working in various organizations. I wanna switch gears and talk to you, Morris. Can you tell us a little bit more about Positive to Positive and what its mission is? The mission of the Positive to Positive initiative is, for those who are HIV negative, I wanna keep you negative by introducing you and educating you on PEP and PrEP. For those who are HIV positive, I want you to be and get into care. And so the mission of, of, of the Positive to Positive initiative ultimately is to present positive, healthy outcomes to communities. That's what I wanna do. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about your journey into this work? My journey into this work did not start off as work. Um, it started off as a personal experience that um, was that came out of a campaign that I was in called I Thrive. Um, There's an organization called Thrive SS, transforming HIV resentment into victories everlasting. And we did a photo campaign. And part of the photo campaign was to debunk stigma. So on December 2nd, I went live about my status. I only went on there for black men of the LGBTQ community who love God, who I wanted to know that God still loves you, even if you get HIV. And it kind of turned into me being a resource and then educating people. And I said, so wait a minute, maybe there's something more that I could do to make this more formal. Thus came the Positive to Positive Initiative and the work that I do. It went from an experience that I shared to being a resource to now hopefully being a light and a guide. That's incredible. Now, can you talk to us about any lessons that you might've learned through the AIDS crisis that you were able to apply to the COVID-19 pandemic? I learned that we should test everybody and I learned that we should make testing accessible for everybody. I learned that we should make the vaccines available for everybody equally. And that has been what we've needed to do for HIV for a very long time, from education to access to healthcare. Phil, let me ask you the same question. When the COVID-19 pandemic first started, I knew that you know, there were lessons that we learned in HIV and AIDS that we could apply here. It was really like deja vu, like we were living the whole thing over again. 
issues around testing and the importance of getting people tested and how do you get people to agree to take the test. Now, uh, the second thing I would say is the dangers of stigma. You know, HI stigma dramatically slowed down and undermined our efforts in finding HIV and AIDS and a different kind of stigma is getting in the way of our efforts to fight COVID-19. And certainly that the messenger matters, developing talking points uh, and developing messengers, particularly in the peer field, having neighbors, family members, you know, community people talking to each other and developing that infrastructure was a critical lesson that we learned in HIV and AIDS and we're starting to apply that with COVID-19. Well, that is a great note to leave things on. I want to thank you both so much for joining us and also the incredible work that you're doing. Thank you. For more information about Positive to Positive and the Black AIDS Institute, please visit the links in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Jay Rodriguez with Real People, Real Voices, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.